back in the 70s and the train crew were making a cup of tea because each diesel locomotive they had a, a hot plate in the cab so that they could keep their tea or cook their some a meal or something on it and they wanted a cup of tea and they couldn't be bothered to go up to the station at Torrington and get some milk they thought oh we'll open up a get some milk out of the milk tank on the train so they they uh, turned the valve got the milk out for the tea and they couldn't shut the valve off and it drained all the milk out of the milk tank <laughs> onto the track bed and apparently they could smell it for weeks and weeks afterwards they could smell this gone off milk as they as they were driving the train up up the hill into Torrington well, you know well this was Lancross tunnel where by the Ryan Bridge and you've got all the lads doing their fishing and they, when the train came they used to hide then out the way of the train <laughs> <laughs> I think there was a there was a guard or something that was delighted one day when they when they did that because they ran over somebody's fishing rod and snapped it because <laughs> they should have been, shouldn't have been on the bridge trespassing on the on the railway. Yeah, this was the enthusiast tour. It was called the, I think they called it the last Atlantic Coast Express. No, it was just the Atlantic Coast Express. It was run by a, a publisher that used to publish a lot of railway books and railway magazines in London. And they ran this train down to Torrington. And the firm that did it was Ian Allen, so they put the Ed Code in the window, IA, Ian Allen, for the publisher. And this was it, coming along Wesley Strait. And I remember it was a really dull day, it was in October 82. And it, there was absolute cloud burst, and I got soaking wet. I stood on the, the wires of the, the fence, but I, I wanted to get the picture. Because, it, you know, we, I think at that stage we knew the line was, was closing. Um, and this was it past going along Wesley Strait. There were both name locomotives. That one's called Sultan with a nice crest on. And the locomotive at the back was called Earl Mountbatten of Burma. And it went up to Torrington. And I managed to get some pictures of it coming in. And they had an engine on back and front so they didn't have to run around on the point system. How did you get from place to place so quickly to take um, pictures? Back then I didn't, I couldn't drive so my dad chauffeured me around in that, that morning. I was able to get, get quite a few pictures at Torrington and then it went I went home and changed clothes because I was soaking wet and then I, in the afternoon, it, it came back to Biddyford and it stopped at Biddyford for an hour. There it was at Biddyford in front of Springfield Terrace. And then this, because it was a railway book publisher, then the guards found the carriage. They had a bookstall selling all the railway and transport books for all the people on the train. And uh, so I got on and had a look through and I bought a book. And I got off because they said the train was going back up to Torrington. And the guard said to me, do you want to ride to Torrington? Jump on. So I jumped on the train and had a, had a free ride. And that was my last ride on, on the train on this line. Mm -hmm.